the short wheelbase is a fantastic all-round car. Fabulous to look at from any angle. Very easy to drive. They did very well rallying in their day. Did extremely well by winning events like the Tour de France. Did extremely well in class at Le Mans. So great all-round car. For the starting point for a restoration, there's probably three different scenarios. The first scenario is where a client has a car that they've had for many years. They've used it, they've enjoyed it, they've had it maintained by us, and it gets to a point where it's probably, you know, especially if the value's gone up, the right thing to do is, is to restore the car. The second scenario is where someone says to us, I'd love to have a restoration project, and then we might find them a car for restoration and then start the process. Or finally, it may be as straightforward as someone bringing us a car, we've never looked after it before, and they want us to restore it for them. The, the brief from our customer when it came to restoring this car was, to try and replicate the exact specification of the car when it left the factory and to, to make the car eligible and worthy for any concourse event around the world. We checked its history and found that it had only had two or three owners in its life and had done very little. So we purchased it for a client who um, was particularly keen to own it once he heard about it. That particular client likes his cars to be absolutely perfect and so he said, take it apart chaps. Make it perfect. The thing that separates DK Engineering from the rest of the industry and, and, and our competitors is the fact that we do give such a broad spectrum of services and a range of skills. There are other people out there that sell Ferraris to the same level as we do, but they might not have the restoration or the servicing facilities that we have. So we believe that we can give the entire service to one client right down to the storage of a car. So our workforce in-house kind of reflects our business on the whole in terms of we have a very broad set of skills under one roof. We have guys that have come from main dealers and have been trained by the factory to service modern cars. We have guys that have worked for us from the age of 16 and have been completely trained in-house. Everything happens here, you know, all the suspension is rebuilt here. The engines are rebuilt in-house, the gearboxes are rebuilt in-house. It's only the real specialist skill sets that we subcontract to people that we have great relationships with and that we've built up over the years. Over the years we've, we've built up great relationships with many subcontractors and in this project in particular we used body lines and spray tech, body lines for the metalwork, spray tech for the paintwork. Our brief was to keep as much of the original body as possible, which is important. Uh, people's expectations now are that they expect the cars, when they're finished their restoration, to look like a car that's brand new and DK has a wealth of knowledge of knowing how they should be and that's due to the amount of years that they've been doing them. There's no substitute for background knowledge. When we started the restoration the car was absolutely as per any other short wheelbase. It had normal bumpers, it had a very normal interior, it was just like any other late steel short wheelbase. As we stripped the, uh, the, the, the paintwork back we discovered possibly what we think is the most original steel short wheelbase we've ever restored. It would have been tempting to make adjustments to make it symmetrical and to make it better, but we've really trod a very, very fine line during the restoration to make sure that we've retained the originality, but made the car as perfect as possible and to work as well as possible, but still be correct and as it left the factory and again, not over restored. Adrian at Spraytech we've used for many years for our real concourse finish of the paint job. You know, he really understands that the preparation of the shell before it's painted is oh so important. How to make the bodywork absolutely to the highest standard and not you know, different to how the car was when it would have left the factory. Historically the factory did use lots of filler and actually their paintwork wasn't that bad. Anybody that says Ferraris weren't well turned out originally are wrong. 
the, the, the body finish was quite good, but nowhere near as good as spray tex. The car has to go through a process of preparation of the 60-year-old steel bodywork, uh, etch prime, and then the real trick is the high build two-pack primers that are baked on. These primers allow you to shape the car uh, to remove all the small dents and ripples, and that's where all the hard work is. And in order to try and get it to the level that people need, you're up to about 500 levels. The actual painting side of it, the bit that makes it look pretty, half a percent. The remainder of the time, all preparation. This car came to us stripped out, so we've had the interior before the car arrived here. We've taken it all to pieces, um, cleaned all the panels, repainted the seat frames, rewebbed them. We've used new mouldings where the old ones have just disintegrated beyond repair. And But we could take all the measurements from the density of foams to the shapes before we remove them from the seats. This one, on the back of the old black webbing, we could see it was a dyed through hide. Um, not traditionally used, they normally do a surface lever, but this was a dyed through. So we found original fibres of that and we've re um, had the lever manufactured to match the original. If something's not right here or it doesn't meet my uh, standard requirement, we will do it again so it's perfect. We're known for being the best in the business, so we have to be better than our customers' jeweler's eye. They're stepping out of really nice cars these days and into a Ferrari, which was never made like that in the old days. So we've had to tune our standards to satisfy modern day customers. For the trim work part of the, the restoration, we've really found that the most difficult in recent years. And it's a real artist's job. And Rob O'Rourke is an artist in, in himself and he helps bring the highest quality finish and attention to detail when it comes to restoring a car like this. This car will leave a rock coach trimmer as better than it ever left the production line, purely because we've got time on our sides and we're probably more fussy than the people back in the old days to get things right. Ferrari were mass producing um, interiors to keep up with their run of cars, so they didn't have time to make things perfect. If something wasn't fitting, that was fine. Get it out the door, next one. Um, we've got time on our sides and expectations to get things perfect, and only perfect will do. I'd like to think that when it comes to a car being sold in the future, if it's had a DK engineering restoration, that's a, a big tick in one of the boxes. I would expect any Ferrari that we totally restore to add considerably more than its restoration cost to its value. You know, we have a reputation over the years having restored over 150 very significant Ferraris of being able to restore cars so that they're correct and that they last well. But also we're a family business and we're enthusiasts and we've actually lived with these cars for the last 30 plus years. For sure this car will, will be shown at various concourse events all over the world, uh, but ultimately you know, we make sure that our cars work. The car will be as good as it is today in 20 years time. I would say DK are the best in this field because they've been doing it for such a long time at a great given standard. In the main, I like to think that the standard that I restored cars to 30, 40 years ago isn't that different from now. Certainly the, the, the work that we put into the, the chassis frames and the bodywork and the paintwork was not that different back then. The thing that has changed is the attention to detail. 
The future for DK Engineering is very much as we've gone on for the last 37 years. It's about selling cars, it's about sourcing cars to people, and it's about enjoying the cars. We'll continue to have our own cars and to buy and sell those, and to go racing and to do concourse events. Very much business as usual.